you get... I don't even know if I can make it up there. I might have to go redo this whole area all over again. I'm not sure though. Oh wait, no, 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 hold up. You. What the hell is this? You. This is an odd area. It's absolutely nothing. I thought it was like a little ladder or something. You. It was absolutely nothing. Okay. Alright, well that was a waste of time. <laughs> Aren't I good at wasting your guys' time? Of course I am. Drop right on in. And get hit with really awkward looking 3D graphics. You. Yeah, I guess I do have to redo this whole area. Whatever. That won't take too long. Man, Toza is awesome. I love this scene. We are coming up on Bison, though. Once we get through this next temple, with its awesome theme, we get to listen to Bison's theme. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you for finally dying. It wasn't even your fault, it was my own being stupid. I went through the bullet. <laughs> Dodged the bullet there. You motherfucker! That was the greatest shot in the history of shots. Holy shit. Shot running around the world. Guy stops me from jumping. That was pretty glad. That was pretty damn good. I'll give you that one. That was very damn good. I tip my hat to you, sir, for being such an asshole. Okay, up we go. Hi, Ed. You can Yeah, you really want to have the camera facing you, so you know where to jump. Because to be fair, your guy doesn't make the jump on his own. There we go. And for real this time. Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. And here we are. Peach Mountain Shogun's Toy Castle. Yep, save my diary. Good stuff. Now I'm pretty sure we can warp here. Almost 100% sure, so let's take a quick look. In fact, actually, I am 100% sure we can warp here. Now that I think about it. Let's see where we go. Yep, you can. Alright, so once you grab that sign, let's go on to Folky Pope and grab ourselves that fortune cat. Oh yeah, just so you know, as I mentioned, all the characters have their own special powers. That also means you have special challenges to unlocking them all. Yeah, Ebisumaru's was honestly the second easiest. I'm gonna put Ye's at the easiest. It used to be the hardest for me. Ye's challenge literally kicked my fucking ass. Then I got really good at a certain skill that allows me to do it very easily. So, yeah, let that be a slight hint to what it is. Alright. Ebisumaru, let us go find where that fortune cat is, because I actually don't remember offhand where it is. Uh, I believe it's down here. I'm not sure if I'm going the complete fastest way to get to it. Boom! Alright. Here. There's some fun people you can talk to in this village. Most of them talk about how their kids used to be amazing, excellent fucking folk dancers, and then they got kidnapped. Yeah, some very weird commentary, to be honest. Alright. And with that, strike agent is great by one. I believe that means we have nine hearts right now. Yep. Alright, off we go. Ikoya. Akibanzu! That was a little bit of a hint as to who our uh, fourth character is. Wait a minute, what? What? You can't fly there! Oh yay! You lied to me. Well, looks like we're going through that again. Motherfucker! How many times did I have to go through that? Oy! I'm almost tempted to reload my save and grab the fortune doll later. But that would be counterproductive. So I... It would be saving time, but hey, who gives a shit if I do this in eight hours and all that's be. I mean that would be cool, but literally that's just for me. I just wanna be able to do this under eight hours. I don't know why. Just a little challenge I wanna put myself. While grabbing all the fortune dolls I usually grab. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty confident I can. Just gotta be fast about this. Not make silly mistakes. 
Honestly, once again, that was just a casual playthrough, though, on my own. I didn't really try to play that fast. I just knew exactly what to do. Alright. Yep. Oh yeah, another reason why I keep switching to Ye and running around, other than the fact that I like her better than these two, she's also one of the faster runners. Uh, I believe the fourth guy being the fastest. I'm not certain on that. I know he's the fastest jumper and swimmer, but it does seem like Ye is pretty fast. Come on! Kind of fast, I don't know. I don't know if there really is a, too much of a difference. Like, it's hardly noticeable in most circumstances. You wow. Alright, guys. Let's demonstrate all I've learned, which you is can't. just to lie entirely. I can't even reach that block, apparently. Let's demonstrate everything I've learned. Come on. Yo. Good. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, I haven't learned anything at all. I haven't learned anything at all. Two times in a row, man. Two times in a row I try to jump and I get a bullet shoved in my face. Okay. That was pretty horseshit. Channel moment. Alright, now. I'm not going to give that one a challenge moment. That's going to go in the dark reaches of my mind. Give me a second. And it's there. That one's going in the storage. Erasing that from my memory. Pop, it's gone. Alright, come on. Now he doesn't want to shoot. You're a motherfucker, you know that? These jumps are already annoying as shit to make anyway. Wow. Had to get one final hit in, didn't you? Okay. Let's go. Toys. Ghost. House. Get ready for some awesome music. Oh, I'm already back to being happy. Boom. Those are what I was talking about, these torches right here. Let them up and get in. By the way, dodge the toilet paper ghosts. That's what I call them. They look like toilet paper. Huh. Is that a crane game? I fucking love crane games. Unless you turn the power on, the crane game will not operate. Damn it. Is that a camera in there? That's what it looks like. I love me some cameras. Oh wait, but if it's a camera in a crane game, we all know what that means. It means it's a rig crane game. One of those ones without the little things on the end. Like, you know, the rubber. No friction, no grab. All those pictures where it shows people winning them, complete horseshit. One thing about these guys which is very unfortunate, you can't cut them in half. They just blow up, which is sad. I want to blow them up by cutting them in half. But no, they won't let you. Yep. This part's a little annoying. There's a lot of annoying jumps in this place, actually. I'll call this the annoying jump tape. This temple has probably one of the most uh, acute note changes, I suppose. We'll describe it. Like, for the other couple of temples, it's a little difficult to know when the music changes, I guess. In this one, it's pretty obvious, actually, when the music changes. You're going to get some awesome riffs as you go along in this. Alright. In this room, you need to go over there and grab Elephant. Dodge all the spikes, of course. This area is full of spikes. It's very scary, in fact. Now. Yep. Yep, I'm back. So because you grabbed Elephant, you notice that over there, there is actually an elevator. That would have taken you to the end of the room for you, thus meaning you don't even have to do this room necessarily. You can pretty much just skip it to the very end. And they even reward you for it with health. God! Okay, well actually that wasn't that bad. It's right here. Oh! There you go. Yeah! Yeah! In fact, you actually need to go there, huh? 
Oh wait, no you don't. You jump right here. Yep. There's a teleport to the end of the room, like the opposite ends. But I wanted to walk through the whole way. These guys are very annoying. They jump on you. But, you've got this little dumpling thing right here. Or some sort of treat. It's like flan with strawberry. A strawberry flan, that sounds fucking delish. So you want to carry this right up here, right at the platform. And we're going to want to plant this. And you're going to hear a very sad song, or sound. Oh, well, let's try that one again. There you go. That's the sound of that bastard and his replicating duplicate clone things. I fucking hate that noise, but for some reason that's the sound of anything grown in this game. Whatever. So this thing just shoves shit out at you. And you just collect it. That's really all it's for. There's actually no other reason for this room. Nope. If you want to get out of this room, you're going to have to kill everything. By killing everything, you get a key. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not actually 100% sure. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Kill you! Come on. Come on, bitch. Gotcha. And there's your key. <laughs> he was actually dying in the middle of the cutscene. Right, grab your key. And here you go. That's another thing I love about this game. Remember all the bitching and moaning, uh... Good old buddy Eager Raptor did when he was doing his sequelitis. Yeah. Keep in mind that one of the biggest complaints he had was that it just took for fucking ever to do everything, like to open a chest. When he was doing Ocarina of Time, per se. And you grab stuff and it almost instantly becomes a part of your inventory. Like, like right there, just grab the key. It just says, you got the key. That's all it says. You, you can even stop walking when you have the key. It's awesome. Anyway, for this little puzzle right here, as you notice, I switched to maybe even Subaru, which is a little bit difficult to do because you have to be perfectly still, and that's a little annoying for that little mini platform. But if we can do this, we can get ourselves a Silver Fortune Cat doll. Or can we? That doesn't exactly look silver to me. No, indeed. What is that, I wonder? Well, let's go find out. Make it to the end, and... You received a golden fortune doll. Automatically your strength rate will increase by one. Yep. They don't give these out for free when you defeat bosses. They just give them out for free when you do some ridiculous challenges. There are not too many of these in the game, as would be pretty obvious, but... You can get that one right there relatively easily enough. Honestly, it can be a little bit trickier than what I showed, but it's honestly not that bad. So right in this room... Make it to a room with pots. I love me some pots. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't smoke. Don't worry, guys. Nah, I'm just stupid automatically and naturally. All right. Anyway, in this room, we're gonna want to move on. By the way, remember this room for later. As you can see, there's a platform down there, and we can't do anything with that until much later in the game. But, let's not worry about that for now. Just jump across these platforms with nothing much else really going on, other than jumping on the platforms, and even if you fall, uh, there's no repercussions, because you can just get right back on. Whatever. And right up here. We make it to yet another room. These ones give you health, yep. Yeah, I don't need any of that shit. Right in here. Interesting. We got ourselves yet another fortune cat doll, a key, and we got ourselves a switch right there. Very generous, aren't isn't this game? It aren't this game. Isn't this game? Nastina's feeling unusually generous. It isn't Nastina generous. I was listening too close there. Anyway, the power of the crane game has been turned on. Oh, let's come right on. And let's just go play ourselves a crane game. I want the fat guy to play the crane games, because the fat guys are always the best at him. Alright, last time I did this, I got this on one try. Let me see if I can do that again. Just follow the, uh, follow the shadow, and... You can only press it once, keep in mind, so... And... I... got it, I think? Be 
Beautiful. Once you grab it, don't worry about it dropping. I mean, that looks like it would seriously drop, but I got it. It wasn't very exact, but hey, who used to be exact? Alright. And there you go. Pull out your scan visor and scan this thing because you only get to see it once. Oh wait, no scan visors. Hooray! The wind-up camera. Say hello to the most worthless weapon in the entire game. Hell, even the flute has more use than this one. But, to be fair, it's very useful against ghosts. So when you use this, charge up, and take a picture. Only useful against ghosts and seeing things that are in fact hidden. It does have its uses, but its uses aren't exactly useful right now. So we're gonna switch out, go to the girl with the highest jumping, and there we go. I'm not sure if she has the highest jumping, I think she does. Again, I don't really know. What do you got? I let him live. Why not? You gotta let some of the enemies live. I mean, just all about being a nice, nice hero. Fly right on over faster than the camera can even pan. That's actually really hilarious that the camera can't even pan fast enough. Pan fast enough. Dumbledore. Okay, let's just go. Screw all you guys. I don't need you to open up the door anymore. I'll kill you. And you will mourn his death all day. But now that we grabbed the silver key from the crane game room, we can now move on. So let's move right along. Click. And right in here, we got Mr. Arrow. Already handing that stuff out. And here, you hear that, guys? The music changed. Yep, once you get to this part of the temple, the music starts changing. And also, the toilet paper goes finally become dead by your hammer. Hammer! Oh, I love this theme. But it gets even better, because in the last temple, you only had two. This one's longer than the first one, thus leaving time to have three variants of the same theme. That is fucking dedication to having awesome temple music. Just awesome music in general. Dude, this music gets so fucking jazzy, I love it. Damn. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. It kinda gets to the point where you wanna have the camera out at all times, because you really don't want to be touching these ghosts. And got him. Did you kill the ghost in the room? Get yourself a silver key. Also, be very careful about this water right here. You don't want to fall in it. As you can see, it's red. That's because it's poison water. Yep, poison water will slowly drain your health. It's one of the most annoying things about this temple. Alright, time to jump here. Yoink. And, oh, there you go. See, already took damage. You pretty much take damage immediately the first time you fall in it. It's not too terrible, but it can drain your health pretty fast, especially in some very specific rooms. Which are very annoying, I mind you. In fact, a room coming up, that's very annoying. Unless you're careful. Boom. Gotcha. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, be careful about not having the camera switched out. It could. Uh, we want to have Gabe for this next room, to be fair, because Yay definitely does the best at it. Oh, wait, the room's not coming up yet. Oh, well. I guess you get to ride for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, here it is. <laughs> yep, we got two doors. One of these doors leads to hell, pretty much. This one part was literally one of the only times that I've ever died before in actual combat. Hell, the only time I ever die in this game is against the fucking impact bosses, because they're the only things that are actually kind of challenging. I mean, look, you have lives and health. How the hell are you going to die? Well, you have health, I mean. But right here, you got this giant staircase for you. What exactly do we do in here? Well, I'm gonna demonstrate. So we're gonna go right up here. We get these spinning tops. And you wanna jump on these things and be very careful about it. Because if you fall in, you're taking damage. So you kinda wanna wait. And there you go. Damn it. Yep. 
you're taking a lot of damage, and jumping out of the water will not help. As you can see, I've already taken a lot of damage. I'm doing worse than I... I'm doing pretty bad. But be very careful about these jumping tops. Yeah, That's left the longest. You... I think I want to go for Ye for this room soon because she just has... Yeah, she has high jump. Oh, I don't know. There's no real difference in the long run. I'm just going to go for Yai. Yay, whatever her name is. I think it's Yay. Yai. It's probably Yai. Alright. Jump right on. And also it's spinning too, so keep that in mind. That's not the most annoying part though, to be fair. The most annoying part is just jumping between these things. Also, if you're going to do this part, make sure you don't fall later on and only fall early on. Because if you fall later on, there's nowhere to save yourself, thus meaning you're swimming through a lot of poison to get back to safety. Yeah. Anyway. Rally you. And we got this. For this, you get a silver key. Of course, necessary for completion of this temple. This is not some bullshit where, like, doing a hard puzzle like this, or not really a puzzle, just hard platform like this is only good for some extra money. Or maybe a silver cat. No. You actually get something out of this. I'm just going to go take the extra damage. I'm not waiting around for that top. I got a time limit to go through. See, it only took three hearts in that room. Wasn't bad. Could've gone much better, could've gone much worse. And hell, you get healed out of here, pretty much, by all these guys. I've noticed that the toy tops are like little, whatever those things are, the marching guys, they seem to drop a lot of health. Usually. Alright, come on, Ross. Demonstrate your mystical ninja skills, not by switching to the flutes. Nice. Thanks for that, Ross. That was a lovely tune to snare you this guy before you kill him. Thank you for finally killing him. You know, it's Grimm switching to Gomon. Maybe I'm just a little bit better with Gomon. 